वनकम नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू जल प्रयाग आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ए क्विक वीडियो ऑन रनिंग फिक्स अगेन दिस इज अ पार्ट थ्री ऑफ रनिंग फिक्स इफ यू रियलाइज वी हैव डन टू वीडियोज अर्लियर वन एक्सक्लूसिवली वॉज फॉर पोजिशन लाइन्स एंड द सेकेंड वन वॉज फॉर पोजिशन सर्कल्स एंड इन बोथ द केसेस इफ यू रियलाइज आई हैड टेकन one of the environmental forces which is your current so i'm going to go to the uh, third part of uh, running fix as a continuation of whatever we have learned and uh, with the topic itself you can realize uh, i call it part 3 of running fix i'm going to use both wind and current here and uh, i'm going to eventually use uh, in a single question a combination of pl and pc also so this kind of questions are also possible so let us uh, quickly have a look on different scenarios here uh, i'm going to start with uh, running fix with two pls current plus wind in a same situation so let us take a hypothetical example bearings given at 8 and 9 from a single lighthouse uh, course and engine speed given leeway also given set and rate given required to find your 8 and 9 o'clock positions so let us uh, start off the question uh, i uh, request anyone who is uh, coming and directly seeing this part 3 uh, please have a look on part 1 and part 2 of running fix because uh, the logical sequence and uh, the steps are better mentioned and explained in part 1 and part 2 uh, this being a repetition you will see lot of questions uh, you would have seen it is being repeated the procedure is being repeated because this is already a third video you will see i'll be skipping uh, a few things uh, without spending much time on that hoping that you have seen the previous two videos and you can have an understanding of that instead of me spending more time on the same things again and again so as i said please watch those two videos it will make a better sense i'm taking that single lighthouse pl1 pl2 choose a point a on the first pl please draw a small length of cts track just to show you or uh, uh, give a clue on the chart also for your examiner to tell that where is your fore and aft line or your cts so this is 045 what i have drawn now incorporate the wind please add the angle you can see the direction the way wind is coming from north it is going to push you more clockwise so the lever track is going to be 048 please apply the engine speed which is for one hour in this case because the duration so i'm going to apply 12 knot 12 nautical miles and arrive at bravo now apply the current for one hour and uh, you will arrive at charlie so once you arrive please join alpha and charlie so this completes your triangle with the cmg and smg also and uh, this is a, a just a hypothetical value just to uh, differentiate between the different tracks after this i proceed with my uh, same procedure of transferring the pl so i have my first pl transferred to charlie wherever this pl intersects the second pl is my second fix at 9 o'clock position of vessel is always found on the cmg track so please retrace the cmg track you will see you can get your 8 o'clock fix and uh, a parallelogram is formed between your cmg tracks first at the hypothetical position a and then at the real position let us uh, quickly do Uh, a similar example on the chart for a better uh, visualization so this is your pl1 pl2 alpha 
draw a small length of CTS, apply the leeway, this is your leeway track, measure it for 12 nautical miles in this case, draw the current, arrive at Charlie, complete the triangle to get your CMG, please transfer your first PL on Charlie, so you have your transferred PL intersection as nine o'clock fix, retrace your CMG track, get your eight o'clock fix to understand how the vessel was behaving in this last one hour. This is the orientation of the vessel. So this is a, a case of allowing method using both current and wind and using two PLs. Let us try a similar question using two PCs or position circles. Uh, the values could be very, very similar to previous uh, examples. And that is why I said there could be a lot of repetition here. And there is a lot of repetition. Your course engine speed and leeway given, similar set and rate given to you, find eight and nine position. Again, let us start off using PCs. So that is my first PC. Draw the second PC. Choose a point A on the source of first PC. Draw a small CTS track. Apply the leeway, get a leeway track. Arrive at Bravo. Please apply the current at Bravo to arrive at Charlie. Complete the triangle. Now transfer your first position circle to Charlie. The intersection gives you your second, fi uh, second fix, which is your nine o'clock fix. Retrace your CMG back and you will get your eight o'clock fix. Let us quickly look at uh, the same example on the piece of the chart. Here I'm choosing Bill of Portland. The wind is coming from northerly direction. This is your first position circle. Second PC. Alpha source of first PC. Small leeway, uh, I'm sorry, CTS track. Please apply your leeway. 12 nautical miles in this case. Current. Complete the triangle. Please transfer the first PC to Charlie. You can see you have two intersections. So the places, two possible places where I would be transferring my CNG are shown here. Out of this, one is not correct, one is correct. So very obviously the northern one or the upper one is wrong because it is passing through the land. So I take that as no, and this is yes. And this is your eight o'clock fix. There's one more ambiguity in between. You can see this ambiguity here. And this is a no because the length of Alpha Charlie does not match with this. So this is also, uh, again, a case of uh, two position circles, including both the environmental forces and allowing method. Orientation of the vessel is like this. Let us look at a simple case, this time without any wind, without any current, but I'm going to use one PL and a PC in the same question, which is possible in your exam. Eight o'clock, range of the lighthouse X is three miles. Nine o'clock, bearing of Yankee is 330. Only course and engine speed, no current and no wind. So I'm going to start off with the first PC. And uh, I'll be using the second lighthouse for the second PL. Choose a point A on the source of first PC. There's only CTS track, nothing else. So this is a CTS track. Use 12 nautical miles because the duration is one hour. Transfer your first PC to Bravo. So moment you do it, the intersection with the second PL is your second fix. Retrace back your CTS only because there is no environment. So there you go, I got eight o'clock fix. 
Let us quickly see this also on a piece of chart. So I'm choosing a hypothetical example. And uh, Bill of Portland is the second lighthouse. So first PC is here. Your second PL is here. I'm choosing alpha as a source of first PC, which is the first lighthouse. Run my CTS for one hour. So I have at Bravo. Please transfer my first position circle to the Bravo. You can see there's two intersections, one here and one here. The red is very obvious because it's very close to the land and shallow patches are there. I take this as my right one, retrace it back. You can see this is the fix of eight o'clock and this is an ambiguity which I discard. So this uh, finishes off uh, most of my cases which you can uh, incorporate into a running fix. You can see this last one was uh, without any environmental forces. So what we have done is in the three modules, uh, we have looked into PL, PC and a combination of PL, PC. We have looked into simple cases of only the course and engine speed. Then we had looked into the current. Then we have added the wind also. So uh, what we have seen is almost all the cases of possible running fix. There are some special case of running fix, which uh, I might do in the next uh, video. Uh, till then, uh, keep watching Jal Prayag, and uh, I'll catch you soon with the next video whenever it is ready. Monakam, namaste, namaskar.